Hey Gated Horse Riders, I want to talk today about a topic that can be hard to hear, but it might be beneficial. I want to talk about fearful riders. I go to clinics and give lessons and I hear some people say they're afraid, but actually I hear more people say that they know fearful riders who are afraid to go to clinics or get lessons or ask for help. And I totally understand what you're talking about. You never know if someone is going to be helpful or if they're going to criticize you or belittle you or make you feel, um, make you feel sad or, or really, really be hard on you at a clinic or a lesson. And that's really hard to get past. And I know being afraid is not something you can control. You can't just not be afraid when you're working with horses or on the ground or in the saddle. Um, there's no easy fix for that. Um, I can't, I don't have a magic bullet to help you not be afraid. But I want to encourage you that if you get a chance to work with good clinicians or good trainers, uh, they won't make you feel stupid. They won't belittle you. Uh, and they'll be able to help you get better and feel more comfortable with horses and with whatever you're doing. Um, so I don't know if I'll be able to help you every time. But if you have any issues at all, I, I want to help you. So feel free to ask questions. There's no, there's no stupid question you can ask. And I've answered questions. I'll sit down and send emails out about questions that I get all the time that I have videos on that I'm kind of like, why didn't you just watch the video? But I'm there to help. <laughs> that, that's what I'm there to do. And, and even if you don't trust a clinician, ask friends to see if they can recommend someone. There's got to be someone that can help you, even if it's long distance. Uh, I know there are people out there that talk about fearful riders and how to get back. And I, I know some of the things are um, get more tools, go to clinics and get help so that you feel like you have things to do with your horse. You feel like you have some control back and start easy. Don't put yourself in a situation where you're going to get hurt. It can be hard. There could be a lot of peer pressure to get on and do something or to not get on. Do something you're comfortable with. I love doing liberty work with horses where the horses are loose and staying with me and we walk around and stop and back up and turn and you can get confidence from doing that. And again, whatever you do, be safe, but don't be afraid to ask for help because there are people out there that want to help you and you probably feel like you're alone out there, like no one else is going through it. But when I do a clinic and we go out to eat or we have a whole bunch of people together, do you know what one of the first things that come up it's something that I call scar and tell. It's where everybody tells all their horror stories, all their horse horror stories, their trailering horror stories, their vet horror stories, their trainer horror stories. Everyone has them. And it's not a matter of if you're better or you have more money or you, you are better than other stuff or other people. It's about getting out there and asking for help and, and people are there to help you. And I just wanna encourage you that it's worth it. But stay safe. And I hope this has helped a little bit. And if I can help you, please uh, feel free to email me or comment below and subscribe to get more videos. And I trust that you can get out there and have fun with your friends.